the flub is this? TikTok, you gotta stop doing this. <laughs> Sorry, that was just me beating myself because I'm a bit annoyed. Wait, what? But yeah, today we are gonna go through this dastardly video, which is on the stupid TikTok right now. And anybody can see this. It just came up on my algorithm and I didn't even go out of my way looking for this stuff. But it is called 23 tips to get you in the best shape of your life in 2024. So they're getting in there early. Because as we know, when January comes around, a lot of people indulge over the holiday season. They look at themselves in the mirror and they're desperate for advice and they're desperate to just have a little bit of direction. But if you follow some of these, well, you may as well just go make love to the wall. It ain't gonna help. Number 23 is alcohol is poison, avoid it at all costs. Now look, there is a strain of thought that probably does argue, and it's probably true scientifically, that in a way alcohol is poison, hence why you get, you get hung over. That doesn't mean you can't go to the gym, go to the Fitness of Palace of Love, have a good diet, and still have a beer or a glass of wine or a whiskey here and there. If you enjoy going out with your friends, the worst thing you can possibly do, and if you want to drink obviously, is just go, oh, I'm not going to do it anymore. Because when you go from the extreme to the other extreme, do you know what your brain does? It yells at you, it doesn't like it. Just go with the obvious, everything in moderation, and you have to enjoy yourself. Number two is, if you're not horny, you're not healthy. I mean, sometimes you must have had a terrible day, and you get home and you say to yourself, I don't really want to have sex right now. You're a perfectly normal human being. Number three is peanut butter is not a high protein snack. Now I actually do agree with this. A lot of people have decided that nuts are really healthy and they are to a point, but you can't just eat them over and over again because you will put on weight. And yes, if you were going to break it down, I would probably call peanut butter a like healthy fat snack as opposed to the alternative, whatever that may be. But it still has protein in it, and it ain't no devil. And number four is to eat slower, because that way you allow time for your leptin levels to kick into gear, which essentially tells you when you're hungry and when you're not hungry. And therefore, eventually you get full, and you'll stop putting food in your mouth. Hands up if sometimes when you do indulge, it's not about being hungry, it's not about being full, it's because you just want to eat. Don't eat slow, don't eat fast, just eat however the flub you want to eat. Number five is sugar makes you fat. No, it doesn't. Sugar does not make you fat. Overeating makes you fat. You could have a thousand chicken breasts in a day, every single day, and eventually you're gonna get fat. Number six is about exercise being a documented antidepressant. And yes, it is. Going to the gym will make you feel better. But the reason I don't like putting it in lists like this is once again, it's not the be all and end all. That's just one thing you should start doing to make yourself feel better. It ain't the entire answer. I don't even understand number seven to the point I've just got to read it. Cardio is like day trading for quick profits burns calories. Weight training is like investing for passive income boosts metabolism. What does that even mean? That is two plus two equals potato. Do cardio because it's good for you. Go to the gym and lift weights because it's good to you. You want to put on muscle mass, make sure you lift some weights. If you're working on heart health and you want to try and burn a few more calories, do cardio. That's it. Number eight is muscle confusion is not a real thing. Well, I'm confused by what number eight is trying to tell me. Number nine is eat as much fruit as you want because it's important possible to overeat it. It's calories. I don't want to get into this. Have a piece of fruit, sure. Don't be scared of it, but don't eat 72 apples in an hour because you're probably going to poop it out anyway. Number 10 is black coffee and sparkling water are great appetite suppressants. I do believe there is backing for this. So sure, if you are hungry, have a coffee, have some sparkling water. It probably helps. Number 11 is to avoid post-dinner snacking, brush your teeth and watch the cravings vanish. Here I am brushing my teeth and surprise, surprise, I still want to stick a pizza up my ass. Number 12, cold shower are a great way to minimize stress. This is also true. I'm one of those absolute idiots that wakes up every day and I have a cold shower because it just invigorates you. And yeah, sometimes it sucks. You don't have to do it, it's your life. Number 13 is another where I just have to get it because the quantity of food affects how you look. The quality of your food affects how you feel. I just want to run outside naked. I don't know what that means, but I've got to do something to try and temper this. Number 14 is eat the frog first. What? What it's trying to say is that if you consistently struggle to get in your workout, you should wake up first thing and get it done. And yeah, that makes sense. I mean, how many times have you gone, you know what, I'll go to the gym later. And then later comes, you're tired from work or you've just had a bad day and you don't go. But at the same time, waking up at 5.30 a.m. and trying to go to the gym is really hard. So just get it in wherever you can. But of course, you should try and go. Number 15 is eggs are a superfood, not a food to avoid. Just eat eggs if you want to eat some eggs. How is that going to change your life? Unless you were chicken, they probably don't like it. 16 is you don't need any gym equipment. You just need your body. I do agree with that. Push-ups and pull-ups and other bodyweight exercises are vastly underrated and we should all do them. Number 17 is minimize liquid calories such as Starbucks, sodas and oils. Or you can go to Starbucks and just have a black coffee. You can use olive oil, again in moderation, which would be perfectly fine. And you can have zero calorie fizzy drinks. 
Sounds like a better option to me. 18 is more muscle equals a higher metabolism. This is usually true, but you're a human being and sometimes it doesn't go that way. Number 19 is a high protein diet is the best diet. Yes, if you're trying to put on muscle, you're going to need to get your protein in. But if you're not, why the flub would you care? Number 20 is your self-identity drives your actions. So stop calling yourself lazy or a fat piece of shit. Well, don't worry about that other hullabaloo. Stop doing that because you're a good person and you deserve good things. Number 21 is a lack of sleep increases your hunger hormones, which is going to make it more difficult to lose weight. Again, don't make it that complicated. Just know that if you don't get your sleep in, yeah, everything's going to suck because your cortisol levels are going to be higher. And when you're stressed, well, you already know. You live on Earth. Being stressed sucks. Number 22 is you can lose weight substantially if you are eating things like pizza or nachos, as long as 8% of the time you're eating clean food. And yes, we've already talked about this numerous times. It's everything in moderation. And sometimes if you do just need to eat some cheese on toast, do it. As long as it is just here and there, it ain't gonna make a blind bit of difference. Number 23 is they told you too much sun will give you cancer. They didn't tell you that it's also the number one supplement for better mood, better health, better skin, and just feeling better about yourself. I mean, I don't want to keep going around like it's Groundhog Day, but you don't want too much sun and you don't want too little sun. Again, when you put it in these kind of words, people all of a sudden think, well, I must go bathe in the sun at all times, and they take a ridiculous amount of vitamin D. As I tell people who ask me, go and get your blood work done, then you'll know. And if your vitamin D is perfect, what have you got to worry about? So yeah, as you can see, that's an absolutely ridiculous list. And if I were you, I would ignore most of it. I mean, there are some truths in there but it's way too black and white you know what's good for you you know what's bad for you so when you go into 2024 if you are looking to make some improvements just make tiny improvements so if you're doing no exercise start going for a 10 minute walk every day if you do moderate exercise just double it a little bit and if you are so intense and so hardcore just find many things you can do to keep progressing because that's all the gym is it gets harder and harder as your body does get used to it but if you're not having fun and you're not enjoying yourself that will be the ultimate crutch and eventually you're gonna fall flat on your face i don't want you to do that i want you to succeed up there on my roof. So basically ignore TikTok. It's full of absolute nonsense. Before you like the video, share the video and subscribe. Hit the bell, ding, dings. And it's going live. There will be a video on the screen. Please do click it. Don't have to watch it. I beg you. Also, grillamine.com for us, Simon. Use the code to get 10% off. The code is Simon, obviously. Now, again, when we get to the Black Friday thingamajig this week, if you are watching it when the video goes live, it's 30% off everything. So that's going to help me. Hopefully, it will help you. Keep an eye on it and get your favorite sub. Also, at patreon.com for us, Simon316. Instagram and Twitter or X at Simon316. Simon J. Miller on TikTok. They need to start making more content that poo-poos this. Simon Miller on Cameo if you want a personalized shelter and Samson Athletics and Pro Wrestling Tees for merchandise. They're also doing Black Friday sales at the moment. So again, you can help yourself out there. But more importantly than all of that, be nice to yourself. Be kind to yourself. Ignore nonsense like this. It's just going to drive you crazy. You know the basics. You know what you're doing. Believe in yourself. And I'll see you soon.